Actually outside for a change. A good friend that I work with who runs a little YouTube channel for kayaking, Nicholas Valentine, keeps telling me to come out and catch some fish uh, with all the flies that I've been tying. So I'm out today for the first time in a while. Believe it or not, it's a beautiful day today in Scotland. The weather's lovely, nice and sunny. The water's a bit high, but I'm on a local river which drops off really quickly. And the good thing is it might be a bit high for most people, but for me I quite like it. And it's also clear just now which is the main difference. It's only 10-15 minutes from my house. So I'm going to go through my leader setup. So a lot of guys fish different nymphing setups. Obviously it depends on whether you're fishing competitions or uh, just fishing for fun. So today I'm just going to do a normal setup that I would use uh, on the river for nymphing. So what, what I have here, I don't know if you can see it. So I've got it on my reel. Now it's important you get a reel that that basically the line doesn't come through the gap all the time because you don't want it hanging out the back of the reel. This reel's not bad, but when I do get down to the finer stuff, it does cause a little bit of an issue. And that's my little Sage. It's a 2230, sorry. It's a cracking little reel. Drag's fantastic, it's got a nice arbor on it. So, obviously I'm fishing this not for competitions. Well, national competitions, yes, but Fitzmush it's not legal. So on the end, what I have is, I don't know if you can see it, we'll show you later on. Basically I've got a little tippet ring on the end, okay? Now, the ones I'm using are for course fishing. Get them in the Glasgow Angling Centre. They've got a sort of chamfer on them. I will put the make of it on my credits at the end. But basically it's got a little chamfer and, and it's not got any sharp edges. Which is really good when you're tying your nylon on, because you don't want to wreck your nylon. So, I don't know if you can see it, you should be able to see it, but here I've got a coloured piece of nylon. Okay? The stuff I'm using uh, is basically green and yellow, but you don't really see the yellow. But it's super fine, strong, and it's really, really good. It's actually Julian, uh, the world champion for 2016 in uh, Colorado, that got me that stuff. What we've then got attached to that is I've got some clear nylon. Now the idea with the clear nylon is basically to give you that extra foot and a half, two foot, of dropping the line down further. Sometimes you do need to go below uh, and go deeper. So that will give you, a, it's basically a, a, an indicator to tell you how much further down you are. Uh, and it also gives you that bit of clear. So they're both attached with a blood knot, five turn blood knot, uh, on each side. And then I've just super glued them. Then onto that, what I have is, it's basically just some bicolour. So it's just straight Hanak bicolour. So you can see it's the orange and yellow. Everybody's eyesight's different. For me, the orange and yellow is the best. Uh, if you're going to just, if you're just trying to do this method to start with, I would suggest you use the 0 0.03. It's thicker. It's better in the wind. So if it's too windy, I'll use this. Uh, it's much thicker though, and it doesn't tangle as much. Obviously once you get up, up to speed and you're really enjoying yourself and you're catching fish and you know what you're doing, 0 0.18, 0 0.2, 0 0.22, that's the sizes I'll go down to, because it's much more finesse, much more sensitivity. You can feel the takes much better. The fish, you can feel everything really. If you're doing it correctly, you should feel your flies bouncing along the bottom. You should feel all the takes. So that's basically my leader setup. It's not really anything fancy, but I do have like half a spool of this nylon on. So I'll take half a spool, so one spool will get me two leaders. A leader will last you three months, six months, sometimes it'll only last you a session. It just depends if you get a tangle and it knots up and you're using the really fine stuff, then you might struggle with it. So, you know, as I say, if you're just getting into this, 
use the thicker stuff, the 0.3. Don't go and try and do it cheaply and buy cheap sea fishing nylon or whatever. Buy proper indicator nylon. I've got something in my eye now. But buy proper indicator nylon because it's more supple. The sea fishing stuff, you'll constantly have to keep stretching it. You'll have to boil it in water. you have to do loads of things to it. So, as I say, the Hanak stuff's my favourite. But there is other ones out there. I like the Hanak stuff. I really love these little bead uh, tippet rings. As I say, they're for coast fishing, they're for cat fishing. But they're so much better than the, the run of the mill stuff. The run of the mill stuff I just find sharp edges, my nylon cuts off. These things are chamfered and they're really, really nice. They're black as well. So, yeah. But remember, always super glue the knots. And as I say, it's really up to yourself how you make these leaders up, how thick you make them, how long you make them. But I like, like at least 12 and a half, 13 metres and I can cast the whole thing. So you don't really need anything else on the reel. You can just put backing on it. But I do have a, a very old nymphing line from a long, long time ago. It's like 20 years old on there. Just in case I decide to fish a competition that requires a legal line, then I will change. But up until then, it's just always nylon. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed that. As I say, it's a beautiful day here in Scotland. I'm going to then set up my kit. Hopefully, we're going to catch a few fish. Uh, I will be fishing today with my trusty Sage 10 foot 3 weight ESN. I have two of these rods. They're really, really good rods to be honest. They're fantastic rods. Uh, work really well. Uh, these are custom built ones. So basically these are blanks that I got built. Uh, but I do love them. I also love my Hanax as well. I've got a couple of super lights. To be, to be quite honest, I can't really tell it. Between the two of them, I love both of them. Uh, but I'm using the Sages all the time now. Because uh, my Hanax are quite precious. Uh, Martin Draws used to own them and I really don't want to break them <laughs> because Martin, anyone who knows Martin, is a fantastic, amazing angler and a brilliant guy to boot. Uh, so, I'm going to get set up. I'll come back to you and I'll do a little leader set up and show you what I'm doing with my leader and then we'll go and try and catch a few fish. So we're going to do a leader set up now. So what I'm going to be doing as today, I'm going to fish 3 kilo, 0.12 uh, Jackson Nylon. I've been using this stuff since way back 2009 when it was introduced to me by Vladdy. Vladdy, Vladdy the Worm guy, the guy that won the World Championships in Sweden all those years ago. He's recognised as probably one of the nicest, best fishermen in the world. Uh, and everybody that fishes competitions has got so much respect for the guy. So. This stuff is fantastic. I do sell it on my website, but that's not just because I'm not using it because I sell it on my website, I'm using it because I really like it. So I've actually put on about eight foot eight foot of nylon and I attached it to my leader ring. Right. So basically I'm wanting roughly that distance to the first fly. I'm only going to fish two flies today. I'm going to use just a water knot, just a two turn or a three turn. We'll go for three today. The important thing is, is we always wet the knot as we're pulling it tight. And you should really use nippers, but I sometimes just use my teeth to take off the dropper that's pointing up the way. So, because we're not fishing competitions, we can put the flies as close as we want. So I'm going to put maybe two foot away. Okay, now if you bear with me, I'm going to get my fly boxes. For most of my boxes, I will do some close-up pictures. It's all the same flies that's in them. So, there's not really much. I don't know if it will zoom in or not. Right, but you can see there, it's all pretty similar patterns. So what I'm actually going to fish today is quite a heavy rubber leg on a point. So I'm going to take that out. So that's like a 4.6mm bead. And I'm going to put on one of my little hotspot shrimps up on a dropper. 
but as I say, you can see there, the flies are all pretty much much alike, they're all roughly the same. Alright, but we can show you pictures of the flies later. So as I say, all we're doing is rub a leg on the point, that's a size 12, 12 or a 10, I think it's a 10, we have 4.6mm bead. Because the water's big, I want it to go down. Should really have brought my glasses. Same again. Nice and tight. Okay. And take off the excess. Then we'll tie this onto the dropper. Sometimes you need to take a little bit off. Maybe I'll get a bit of varnish in the eye. Nope. That's just me because I've not brought my glasses with me. Right, that's us, we're in. Same again, just one, two, three, four turns. Feed it back through, wet, pull tight. Job done. Even though we're fishing a Thompson bead, I will still put some mousse, uh, sink mud on it, some Fuller's Earth, because I want to take the shininess off the nylon. It's basically that's for a setup, two nymphs. This says I might go to three, depends, we'll see how things go. But basically two nymphs set up. So that's the distance between the two. Okay, right, it's time to go and try and catch a fish. So as you can see, I've now got my chest pack, my hat, all important glasses. Doesn't matter whether it's rain, hail or snow, you should be wearing glasses. Uh, if, you, if it's too dull for glasses, you should have a little pair of safety glasses in your backpack that you can use. Top tip, get some safety glasses out. Screw fix, the yellow ones for summer fishing is fantastic. Because once it starts getting too dark for your normal sunglasses, a lot of people take them off. You only have two eyes. Stick a fly in one of those eyes, it's not getting fixed. It might get fixed, but you could lose an eye. So for me, safety is really important. Always wear a pair of glasses. As I say, you can get the yellow ones out of screw fix or any industrial shop. Uh, and it actually brightens everything up so you can keep fishing longer uh, when it gets dark. So I'm going to go into the river. I've got my rod set up, I've got my two nymphs on. So we'll go and see if we can catch a fish. So initially, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work the water and see what I can catch, see if I can pick a few fish up. Alright, so, but yeah, the, the, the river's at a good height. I'm quite happy with it. Uh, whether we catch anything or not, I'm not really sure, but we'll just give it a try. Okay, I'll just get this camera set up. Alright, so let's go and see if we can get anything. So, because the water's big, I, I'm not going to just charge into the water. I'm going to stand quite far back when I'm fishing the nymph, and I'm basically going to fish the nymph at the edges first and try and work the bits of water. Alright, so important get the glasses on. So I'll just put my glasses on just now. Take them up top. Definitely too heavy for this corner. 
Thank you.